Yes, my name is Parnell Chapel Jr. and I'm a steel worker. It used to be Bethlehem Steel. NAS, well, the last company was RG Steel. I started in 1964 and it was pretty much in the civil rights area where a lot of things were changing. And when I got hard, it was kind of weird because I had a job at Two Guys and the word had got out in the city that they was hard at Bethlehem Steel. So it was like a mass run, you know, to, to try to get hard. So my first couple of attempts, I didn't get hard. So I got a little disgusted, tore the envelope up, threw it away. So I went back again, I sent the envelope back, they hired me. And I was like, steady, you know, I'm working at Bethlehem Steel. So I worked at Bethlehem Steel. My first job had a jackhammer. Worked at the blast furnace department, number five blast furnace. And I was shrawny, you know. I couldn't even pick the thing up. So, so I went through this transition of working on a blast furnace. It was hot, it was so dirty. I got caught up in this culture where you worked hard, you drank hard. So everybody know the infamous Mickey's. We all stopped there, you couldn't even get on the parking lot. And at that time I wasn't driving, I was riding with different, different people. So we would stop there, you get all liquored up, then you come back to work. And then as time progressed, I stopped missing some time. When I was going through my demons and whatnot, I got sent away. Sent away to a place called Mount Man. Well, back in the day, it was 28 days. You go there 28 days, you didn't drink, you know, so and so and so. So I came out, and then I stopped going to Alcohol Anonymous meetings. So when you talk about Alcohol Anonymous, because it's an anonymous program, I can't talk a lot about it. So the thing is that I'm still doing it. And with my 48 years, I also got 34 years of sobriety. And that's the best thing ever came down. Beautiful living. My son went to college. He went to Gettysburg College. He graduated. I got two beautiful granddaughters, granddaughters, crazy about them, spoiled the hell out of them. And um, I love Cadillacs. And I had a few since I've been working there. So just before all this happened, I went out and bought me a brand new one. And riding around, I said, well, look, of all the stuff that went down, at least I got this out of that. 